What's going on, family? So the next step that we are working on right now is making sure that we have some audio to engage our clients, to engage, to engage, <laughs> to engage our viewers, to make sure that they're having the best experience, the most immersed experience with this. And so you want to be able to do that with not only your visuals, but also with your audio. And this is how you really pull people in. Um, but the key to this process, though, is that you really have to find the right audio that is vibing with your content and the context of your content for it all to really feel immersive. So I'm just going through a few here um, to be able to show you um, why, what my choices are and why. And then we're going to move back over to the uh, Final Cut Pro to be able to work there. So this is currently I'm using um, studio.youtube.com for you to be able to find free music that you can use that allows you to be able to use it for your clients um, and it ends up being royalty free or you don't have to pay anything for it and you won't get in trouble or when it gets posted onto different uh, websites it will not be muted or taken off of the site because of any kind of copyright that might be placed on some of the music if it was like Beyonce or something like that. So um, as I'm going through a few of these melting sands, let's see what that sounded like. That's a little slow um, in terms of how it's starting out. Um, sometimes you can skip through these because you don't really need the whole three minutes. You just need like a minute or so. The beat may change as you move it um, up. See, that's still not my vibe right there. That's still not the vibe that I'm trying to go for with these reviews. Um, because they are in uh, just talking um, and there are some cuts that are happening here and there, I really want something that's a little bit faster pace, um, but that isn't like annoying um, at the same time. So you really have to find a balance between those two so that your viewer can stick through the entirety of your content. You see what I was saying? Now, let's do that again. Now, this is what I was talking about in terms of being fast-paced, but then being annoying at the same time. That's just not really going to work for uh, what we're doing right now. I, I would try that for like a street scene or something in that regard, but I wouldn't really do that in regards to like uh, bringing somebody into listening to someone talking and hearing that noise at the same time. That just wouldn't work for me. Let's see what a pre per hellion it is. It's kind of a darker kind of sound. Yeah, that's a little too dark for me. Like that's something that I would use for like a nighttime shot or, um, you know, somebody going through a journey that's kind of struggling. I would use it for something like that, but not really for what we're going through. But let's try this one. The plan's working. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay. You know, I like that one right there. That's nice. It looks like it sounds like process. It sounds like something's working, um, but it doesn't put you in that position where the sounds end up being too overwhelming um, that you're not able to uh, hear the person that's speaking or want to even hear the person that's speaking because you're like competing with the sound and the vocals of the individual. So we're going to go ahead and download this one and work with it. All right, let's get back over to Alan Ross jr the california real estate agent and we're going to drop this plans working underneath and let's hear what it sounds like while as it is my name is alan ross jr i'm a california real estate agent oh that's amazing that's amazing i love it i already love it um y'all probably need to hear more but you'll have to wait until the end to hear the whole thing um, but right now, what we have to do is a couple of things. We have to start balancing out our audio. So we have to balance out the audio of our subject that's speaking and maybe raise that up a little bit more. But we also have to balance out the 
uh, uh, volume of the music. The music doesn't need to be too high. Um, we want to be able to immerse the viewer into the experience of the vocals and then tie in the emotion of the audio into the background of that. So let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to make that happen real quick. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go into our window. We want to go into show into workspaces and we want to see our audio meters. We'll remove this for now and we want to be able to see where our uh, subject's audio is falling without the music. Boom. All right, let's remove this for now. You just push V to be able to make that be unviewed. And then we want to just hear the audio of our um, clip with Alan. My name is Alan Ross Jr. I'm a California real estate agent. And prior to coming to Cobiz, you know, being a real estate agent. All right, so what we're doing is, is we're seeing that our audio is still around negative 20 decibels. In reality, what we want is our audio to balance out around uh, the negative 12 is really the goal. It can fall anywhere between 6 and 18 um, in terms of having audio, good audio, but we really, the goal is to get it to around negative 12. So what we're going to do here is we're going to raise this audio up, let's say by 8 decibels, and see what that gets us. I'm Ross Jr. I'm a California real estate agent, and prior to coming to Cobiz, you know, being a real estate agent, I'm, I'm all over the place. All right, so let's go with that. I really like um, the uh, eight decibels. So we're going to take all of these and we're going to raise them up to eight decibels. Boom. Boom. All right, the next step that we're going to do with his audio is we're going to smooth it out a little bit more. So we're going to uh, highlight all of them, select the audio here, um, and we want to do uh, noise removal. So noise removal will help with any of the like uh, background noises that you might have. You might have some humming. You might have some uh, just some raspiness from his voice that we just want to kind of draw it back a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to tap on this. It will then work for me and balance out the audio for me here. So let's go ahead and check that out one time and see what it sounds like. My name is Alan Ross Jr. I'm a California real estate agent. Okay, now let's see what that sounds like without it real quick. My name is Alan Ross Jr. So you might not be able to hear it through your speakers, uh, but through mine, there's a little bit of a rasp that's coming through on the back end of his vocals. So I want to be able to remove that and keep this voice noise removal um, going right here. I sit, uh, do my work. All right, then that sounds really smooth. And let's go ahead and incorporate the music into this scene. My name is Alan Ross Jr. I'm a California real estate agent. And prior to coming to Cobiz, you know, being a real estate agent. All right, so first thing that I'm noticing is that the audio is still too loud for the, or the music is still too loud for our subject's vocals. And we're not getting as nice of a balance on uh, the audio. So let's go ahead and uh, drop our audio. Um, and let's drop it to about 15, 14, 15 to see what that sounds like. My name is Alan Ross Jr. I'm a California real estate agent. And prior to coming to Cobiz, you know, being a real estate agent, I'm, I'm all over the place. Uh, my office is kind of my car and my cell phone and my laptop or tablet, kind of just wherever I'm at, whether it be in the field, uh, showing homes. You know what? I, I like that. I think that's really good. Um, it just it stays pretty consistent um, throughout. So I'm going to go ahead and stay with that for now. Um, sometimes when you export your projects and you then end up hearing it on another device, it can end up being like, hmm, wait a minute, that wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, so I want to make some changes to that. But for now, I'm going to stick with it being at 15 decibels for this track. That's not always the same, so I don't want you to be like, oh, 15 decibels is the key. No, it's always different. It depends on the song um, or the background music that you have. 
and what kind of experience you want to be able to create. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that at the end, the music raises, letting them know one, that, that, that you know, the, the video is over, um, but two, you know, also just kind of em, um, engaging them more at the end um, during the actual uh, uh, show of a call to action. And the way that we're going to do that is zoom in here. At the point of the transition is when we want to start. And we want to do this by creating what? Keyframes. So the way that we create keyframes is we hold down option. You see how it made that change on our cursor? We hold down option and then we touch the uh, volume uh, tab or tracker or uh, adjuster um, to be able to create a keyframe. So now it created a point to where it says right here, this is where our audio will be. Next, we have to do is say where our audio is going to be um, next. So after the transition point, you can do it immediately after or a little bit time uh, beyond to be able to show your transition point. But we go here, click option, make sure that it shows on that area the keyframe button, that plus button right under your cursor, and then you click again. Now at that point, when we highlight areas, we can move them and be able to show adjustments um, to our volume without affecting the entirety of the clip. So when we come to the end here, future. That really ends up bringing up the cinematics of the experience at the end. And um, yeah, it just really incorporates a nice uh, transition point. Tell me the more in the future. So I'm gonna take this back a little bit because you see his audio ends here. That's a little bit before the transition. So I'm, in, but he has this really nice smile going. So we wanna keep that in. We don't wanna cut it. What we'll do is I'll bring back the point in which the audio begins to start rising at this point here. And let's try that. You know, I look forward to coming here more in the future. All right, so far so good. So we've got our audio balance, we've got our colors balance, we created our transitions. Um, there's one more transition that I wanna be able to add and I'm going to show you that now. So when we go into this workspace, we go into default, and when we go into this area here in the beginning, we see the transition, and we want to do a, a pull-in like this to really bring the uh, audience into our subject um, in a really unique way. So as soon as it opens up, they will see our audience, my name is Alan Ross Jr. Uh, and it will pull right into him. So as soon as it starts, it's bringing him in like that. Um, but what I want to do instead is I want to pull it near his face so that when we transition in, the eyes get drawn into his face. My name is Alan Ross Jr. As you see, when you do the, pull, the transition, we can see a little bit of artifact right here. We don't want to see that artifact, so we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and uh, crop the clip. My name is Alan Ross Jr. Awesome. So that ends up working out. So far, so good. We are complete with this project here. If you want to know more about how we create at CoBiz Richmond, please let us know how we can help you in making your projects uh, worthwhile or how you can be able to empower yourself by using the tools that we have um, within our creative studio. Thank you very much for taking the time out to be able to hear from me. And I appreciate all your support um, in viewing uh, this tutorial. Take care and much prosperity. Peace.